mistakes not Three to mistakes, make. Mistakes, yeah. <clears throat> what? Photography mistakes? Yeah. Right, okay, yes. Right, mistake oh. number one yeah. is um, don't position, you, let's say you're photographing a, a person. Yeah. Okay, you're indoors and don't stand them directly with the window behind them oh. because they'll turn into a silhouette most of the time. Yeah. Okay, um, so that's number one. Number two, if you're outdoors taking a photograph, keep the horizon level. Keep the horizon because, level. Because, you know, photos are oh, like this. Got the you. The horizon should be level. Horizontal. Horizontal, yes. Yeah. Okay, particularly, we, I see a lot of pictures that people take, you know, at the seaside. Yeah. And the sea's going downhill. So what does that do to the viewer? It makes them go like that. Makes them seasick. Make, it gives them a stiff neck. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, because we try to correct what we're seeing, don't we? Yes. Yeah. That's really yeah. interesting. Yeah, if, if you are going to tilt your camera, then you need to do it with real intention and do a real 45 degree tilt. So it looks as if you've done it intentionally. So it's obvious yeah. that you know, it's meant to be like that. Yes, it's part um, of the rather, but If it's just, you know, one or two degrees out, people go like that. And it's just really <laughs> yeah. odd. You know? I mean, if it's what it'll go like that anyway. <laughs> yeah. And so for those that are listening, Paul's tilting his head to his shoulder. Oh, for God, sorry, it's just audio, <laughs> yes. Well, this, I love oh, YouTube and yeah. audio, but I like it. Right, we should put a diagram in as well. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, and tip number three, Yeah. I would say, take lots and lots of photos. Yeah. It, we used to have this problem with film that every time you press the shutter button, it cost you a lot of money. Yes. You know, because you had to send your film off. And now it is, it's not free, but it's very cheap. Yeah. So the cost is what cloud? Yeah, it's, yeah. And but edit your photos, right? Actually, can I do a fourth tip? Because this one's yeah. actually more important, right? Yeah. Tip number four, and this is probably the most important thing. Yeah. Back up your photos. Okay. Right? If you if the back up to iCloud, go. fine, yeah. Back up your photos. We have had, you know, calls over the years from people going, I've lost all my photos. Is there anything you can do? need to have a backup. What tends to happen is people don't back up the photos until they've lost some. Of course, because we only change when we've exactly. made a mistake. Yeah. But I want tip number five, because tip mm. number four was starting as one tip and turned into a different tip. Tip number five was edit. Edit your photos. Yeah, edit, yeah. Yes. What, do what to it though? Because we can over... Oh, you over can over edit. Over, over filter, yeah. over edit. So what the, yeah. when it comes to editing the photographs, what not to do and what to do. Right, okay. Again, it depends on what you're editing. If it's a person, you, you need it to look real. You need it to look like a person. Don't make the skin look so smooth that it looks like a, a mannequin. <laughs> yeah. A person, you know. Um, yes, we all like a bit of soft focus, but just don't go OTT. Yeah. And if you are editing your photos, um, edit a copy of the photo. Yes. Right? Yes. Not the original. No. Because you might come back to that edit a week later and go, oh, what have I done to it? And yeah, if you and haven't you have got to... the original, tough. Yeah. Stuck with it. So yeah, edit a copy. But what not to do though? Overexpose, oversaturate? Yeah. Um, over anything? Uh, what, when you're editing? Yeah, over anything. Don't yeah. Over anything. Yeah. Um, unless you are doing it for a specific reason or specific effect you want to create. But in, in general, People want things to look real. Yes, enhance things, but over editing, nah, doesn't work. Doesn't work. Fantastic.